Who's a good puppy? Who's a good puppy? Howdy folks, my name is Richie aka Bog Otter and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 video. Today we're going to go on a little mini scavenger hunt, literally a mini scavenger hunt. The uh, gem store was updated yesterday with a brand new item in the toy section. It's called the Mini Angry Chest. You can purchase this Mamma Jamma for 400 gems. And the interesting thing about this is it's not just a mini pet. Because there's a little little line there that says, Take your chest to Evan Nashblade to learn more about this mini. So this is going to send us on a little journey. And I'm going to kind of go through uh, what this involves right here. So I bought this thing yesterday. He's right here. It's actually a pretty cool mini pet. It is an angry chest. But he looks like a little puppy dog because he's got the little scarf or thing coming out of his mouth. It looks like a tongue. But we're going to take him over to Evan Nashblade. Now, Evan Nashblade is kind of a big jerk. He wanders all around Lion's Arch. It's kind of hard to, to nail him down. He goes uh, to the bank sometimes. Sometimes he goes up in this area and then he kind of passes through the Grand Piazza. And then finally he'll settle down in his vault. I believe... Don't quote me on this, but I believe in order to kind of further the uh, storyline of this angry chest mini, he has to be at his desk in the vault here. But I'm not 100% on that. So I'm going to go check to see if he's there. All right, he's just coming back here. What timing? It's almost like I planned it. <laughs> you have to have the mini uh, unlocked on your account. So you can't just be in your bags un not unlocked. So you have to actually bind it to your character. And you have to I think you have to have him out. And then you That's talk to him. Jay. And uh, what he does is he sends you someplace over in uh, the Metrica province. Now, I've already kind of talked to him about this. Uh, this step was actually not working yesterday. So I've already gotten the information in from Nash Blade. He talks about his assistant, Crepit, I think is the name. And he sends you to uh, go check out this location over here. This is the Brill Alliance Labs. It's right here in the middle of the zone. It's uh, Rana Landing Complex Waypoint is where we're heading. So let's go to Metrical Province. Okay, here we are in Metrical Province. Crepit is right here. Somebody's standing on him. But uh, he will wander around this area, so he's not always right by the waypoint. You just look for this little Asura, and you're going to run over to him with the uh, mini pet. Let's see what he has to say. Excelsior. Evan Nashblade sent you. I'm working for that coward. You can let him know I'm seeking legal counsel for wrongful termination. What happened? I warned him about those beasts would be aggressive and the cost and the size of the operation open. All these would be substantial. Now it looks like he sold you his mess. Can you tell me what needs to be done so I can open this one? A combination of extreme heat and extreme cold will slow it long enough to open it, but I should warn you the process is very dangerous. How bad can it be? You will need to find the ice elemental named Frost Blast, dispatch it to hyperchill you and the angry chest. Frost Blast seems to roam the northern side of Wayfarer Foothills. Gosh, Bolly G. Wilkers! That doesn't seem so bad. And then you have to travel to Maelstrom's core, step into the flowing magma, and if you survive, it'll become docile enough to remove whatever's inside. Sounds like a piece of grumble cake. <laughs> yeah, it's a grumble cake. Kill an ice elemental, step into some lava. You know, it's all in a Norn's day's work. I'm not done. You need to do all this before you and your angry chest warm back up. Roughly five minutes. Roughly five minutes? I bet it's going to be exactly five minutes. Thank you. I've got some ground to cover, so I'll be off now. Okay, so what Crepin is basically telling us in that really annoying, squeaky, high-pitched voice is we need to go over to the Wayfarer Foothills. We're going to have to go to the northern side. It's going to be somewhere over here. He passed kind of around to this area. So you can go to Solitude Waypoint or the Crossroads of Havens Waypoint. Go over here. We have to kill Frost Blast. And then within five minutes, we have to go all the way down to Mount Maelstrom. Right into the Maelstrom's core right here. And dip ourselves in liquid hot magma. And that way we will finish our journey. So we're going to go try to do that. Okay, so I went to the Crossroads Haven Waypoint. I went around here. You can see Veteran Frost Blast right over here. He looks like all the other Ice Brood Elementals. Actually, he's, he's a little bit brighter. And we're going to go with the mini out. Got to have your little mini out. Make sure it's out. And then we're going to go kill Frost Blast. Let's kill him. <laughs> or just run past him. That works too. All right, so he's dead. Now, do I have the Frost Blast? Yes, Hyper Chill. That's the thing. We're going to just run because I don't have much time. 
We are going to run down. Let's see if the waypoint's open. If this waypoint's not open, you probably have to go to the Avernon waypoint and then kind of go around this away. But hopefully, hopefully this is open and works. Maybe. Show me. Show it. Oh, it is open. That waypoint is never open. And I know people are going to say, Oh, God, Bog, it was so easy when you did it. I'm just going to jump in here with the mini. Get in there. Ugh. I'm in the magma. Was that good? Did I do it? With a loud creak, the angry chest opens. Inside the angry chest is a med... Is a med... Is a mini red spark. Nice. And I got it. A mini red spark. Double click to summon this miniature to follow you around. Only one miniature can be active at a time. So this is... Now unlocked. Add to my account wardrobe. And here is the mini red spark. Now, you might look at this little thing and go, why would I want this mini pet? And we discovered the answer to that last night during our raid adventure. These mini sparks are one of... Where is my mini spark? Is mine not out? I, maybe I don't have mine out. Hold on. Let's put... Ah, No! Did I just put on a different outfit? I totally did. Skeletor. That fool He-Man. What am I doing? All these random clickings. Spread spark. Here. There's mine. These little guys are the worst things about the first boss in the raid. These guys wander around and constantly mess you up. And killing them does you no good So because the first boss constantly responds to you. So if you want to give people, like, <laughs> have bad dreams or make me or stay away from your character, this is the, uh, the mini pet to do that. People will have nightmares about these things. If you weren't lucky like me and the Maelstrom's Waypoint is contested, you will be put at the Avernon Waypoint and you'll have to run up here before the time runs out. So we're going to try that right now just to show you the general path. S equipping any kind of speed boost is probably a good idea. And uh, we're going to head up here and jump down. And of course there's a big event right here with this golem. I totally expected my glider to deploy there and it didn't. But I didn't die, which is good. So we're going to head down into the volcano. I'm going to run past all of these very angry golems. And we'll show you the path. Alright, Cavern Scutterer. Try not to get, like, tagged by any of the creatures in here. Because if you're in combat, they will slow you down. So just kind of dodge roll past. Alright, we're going into the heart of the mountain. All right, so this is the general path you're going to take. You should be able to do this within five minutes without too much of a problem. Of course, now I'm getting hit by things. I can use my speed boosts again. Any kind of movement abilities will definitely help out. But it should not be a big deal. You have five minutes to get here. I, I'm fairly even certain that you can just jump into lava right here if you're running out of time. But uh, you might have to jiggle around in the lava to get it to activate. Make sure you have your mini pet out, and you should be able to get this. So there you go. You buy this puppy on the gem store. You go through this short little scavenger hunt quest, and you actually spend 400 gems, and you get two mini pets out of it. It's not a bad deal, I should say, because like a mini tiger alone is 350. So there you have it, and it gives you a little fun thing to do. That's going to wrap things up. I hope you enjoyed this little journey. Um, if you did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button before you go. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when future videos are released. I hope everybody has a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.